hello guys welcome back to the tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix crab champions is having crashing issue it is not launching or freezing it is stuttering lags with the face drop black screen and even more and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about you need to restart the pc and that is what we have to do this is just a very simple basic step which you can try out restarting the pc is going to uh, work for you for sure for that we have to click over here on this icon go to this and go for the restart after restart is successfully done try launching the game once again this is this is just a basic one you can try out next one even after trying this if it's still not working the next one is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that reason we need to click on this crab uh, crab crab champions click on the game right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step as you can see the 26 files successfully validated so it will cross check in between so this is an important step you can try this out once after that we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder instead of launching the game from steam so uh, we have two methods one we can navigate to the installation folder using a shortcut from the steam other one we can go to the installation folder using the file explorer so i'll show you first how to navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer click on file explorer now go to this pc from here go to local disk c from here go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam now go to steam apps now go to common from here we have to go to crab champion over here as you can see crab champion is there open this now from here launch the game this is one shortcut and also from the steam also we can navigate to the installation folder which will take you to the same place for that right click go to properties go to local file click on browse now you are redirected to the same folder if you check locally see program file 86 steam steam apps common crab champion right now launch the game this is what you have to do so once it has been set we have to move to the next one next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so after launching the game from installation folder if it's not working now launch the game from the uh, launch the game as a administrator for that we just need to go over here right click go to properties go to local file go to browse so we are very easily redirected to the installation folder if you check at the top now select the game right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility sorry show more so let me select this show more options properties compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try to launch the game this did work out for many users when they run the game as an administrator so you can try this out as well for some users when they run the game in compatibility mode did work out as well so i'll show you that just right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now if you check over here there is an option called compatibility mode where run this program in compatibility mode so select, select this one and set this to windows 7 first go for apply and go for ok if this is not working for windows 7 now change this to windows 8 ok now go for apply and go for ok so try with windows 7 as well as windows 8 so imagine after trying this if it's still not working and if you are moving to the next step then i request you can change this Rent this program in administrator should be keep it as as like it is but uncheck this one compatibility mode should be unchecked because for some users when they keep this and move to the next step the issue become more severe so i am recommending uncheck this keep rent this program as an admin should be there keep this and this steps can be removed whatever the change you made can be removed and keep this as the same and go for apply and go for ok and try to launch the game next one is all about we need to change the windows language to english region make sure the date and time time zone are correct for that we just need to go over here in the search now from here go to settings first go to time and language so some of you guys might be playing the game and the windows language will be some kind of default for example chinese japanese or any other thing even that is the case you need to change the language to uh, english for that just go to this settings and go to this over here and go to language and region now click on add language and from here you have to search for english and add english once after that make sure the country origin that means your geography is correct hence i am from india so i have set this to india so you have to do according to your country's geography now go back go to date and time over here as you can see time zone should be automatically this should be turned on 
as well as time zone should be turned on as well. Both the things should be turned on. Once after that, just close this, go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game, but you have to press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard. So just launch the game as usual, just click on the play button. At the moment, when you're clicking on the play button, just press Alt and Tab on the keyboard. This read worked for many users. Uh, very recently, we updated a video on the last of us crashing issue. But for, for many of the users, when they tried this, when they click on the play button, at the moment, they press Alt and Tab. This read worked for them. So try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So if you delete a saved anything over here, for that, just go to the file explorer, go to documents. Now, if you save it anything, you will be having a folder on the crab champions. And if you find any folder, just delete it. So you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. And once after that, go back and try to play the game. This did work out for many users as well. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app for feature through Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we have to keep scrolling down and navigate hand signals in alphabet. Check whether the Crab Champion is already added. As you can see, the Crab Champions is already added and the private and public is added as well. So imagine if this is not there, then how to add it? If that is the case, just click on allow another app, go for browse. When the, then we need to navigate to the installation folder. Go to local to C, scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Go to Steam apps. Go to common. Go to Crab Champions. Now from here, add this. Go for open. If I click on, I'll be getting error because it's already in the list of exceptions. So I have already added it and this is how you can add it. Once it's successfully added, just close this and go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be playing the game with any controllers connected or if you're uh, maybe any other the USB ports might be filled with any other peripherals like you know pen drive or even any other multiple monitors might be you have connected to the Logitech uh, wheels etc so if that is the case just remove everything from the USB port and keep it uh, remove everything and keep it clean once after that launch the game after launching the game and if you wanted to play the game with the controller after the game is fully launched, just connect back the controller and try to play the game. This did work for the games such as Last of Us, then even for uh, the Cycle Frontier, WWE 2K23, for all these, this helped. it. So that is why I'm recommending you can try this out. Next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, go to System Configuration, go for Services. Now from here, just click on Hide All Microsoft Services. Go for disable all, go for apply and go for okay. That might ask you for a restart. Sometimes if it might ask you for a restart, if it's asking for a restart, just restart your PC and try to play the game. Next one is all about, going to the next one that is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay as well as overclocking application. First going over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Make sure under the general, this should be unchecked. That means it is disabled. This is first thing you have to do, which means disabling the Steam overlay. Apparently, I would like to add one more step. Give the commands in the launch option. For that, just go over here, give the commands. That is DX11. This is the first command. Give this command and launch the game. If this is not working, change this to DX12. Give this command as well and launch the game as well. If DX11 is not working, go for DX12 and DX12 is not working. So uh, try with both. If both the things are not working, just remove the commands entirely if you're moving to the next step. Keep it like default, like this. Once after that, move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to close overlay as well as overclocking application. For that, we just need to click over here, right click and go to task manager. And now from here, as you can see, it is very visible. I'm using actually running these things in the background. But there are 84 apps which is running in the background, which is draining out a lot of my performance. So if that is the case, I have to scroll down and navigate to any one of this. Over here, as you can see, the Discord is there. So we just need to go for end it up. So we have to end it up as well because Discord is actually an overlay application which is causing the issue. So first, remove Discord if you find it. Next one is all about, we need to go for overclocking applications. So overclocking applications are, uh, for example, Riva Tuner. MSA Afterburner, etc. All these comes under overclocking application. So if you find anything over here in the background, just remove it. So, I mean, end the, end the task of it. So because overclocking applications drain out a lot of our performance and causing these kind of issues. So just remove everything from there and try to play the game. 
Next one is all about, we need to move to the game. That is next step is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, you can see I have already added many games. Same, same way we need to add this as well. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam, go for Steam apps, go for common. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, the, this one, Crab Champions, open this, go for add. Now, as you can see, the game is already added successfully, but this is not enough. Just go to option. It will be like, like this in default, let Windows decide, change this to high performance. Okay, change this to high performance and go for save and close this and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase the virtual memory. That is an important step which should be done. For that, we just need to go over here, go to virtual memory over here. I mean, we just go for, sorry, not that. Go for advanced system settings. Now from here, go to advanced, click on settings, go for advanced once again, go for change. Now, as you can see, automatically manage paging file size it should be here. It should be unselected and go for local disk C. So this should be unchecked. Then only you'll be able to select the local disk. So select the local disk where the game is installed. In my case, it is local disk C. Then go for custom size here. We have to give the value for initial size. That is 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. So first we need to know the RAM. If you don't know how to check the RAM, let me follow the instruction. Go over here, go to settings. Now from here, go to system at the top, keep scrolling down and go to about. From here, as you can see, 32 GB is the RAM. This is how we can find the RAM. Once you find the RAM, just go over here in the search, go for calculator. So now multiply 32 GB into 1024. 1024 is actually a co common value, constant value. Just multiply your RAM. So in my case, it is 32, 32 into 1024. That brings me 32,768. So I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 49,152. So I have to multiply. So because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. Now I have to go for next one. That is 32 GB into 1024. That brings me, sorry, 32 GB into 1024. That brings me 32,768. So I have to multiply it with 90,304. So just have to copy this and I have to paste it as well. Once after that, go for OK, then try to launch the game. The virtual memory, increase the virtual memory did work for many users. You can try this out. Next one is all about, we need to update the graphics card. For that, I'll be giving link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. If you're not the NVIDIA, just click on this. That will take you to this page. Now give all the details like product type, set the respective product type. Product series can be selected, product operating system. So in my case, it's Windows 11. Select every details and go for start search. Now, once you go for start search, you'll be getting details like this. So download the latest version 531.41, which is released on March 23, 2023. So just download this one and install it and do a restart on a PC and try to play the game. Same way, if you're on the AMD, select the respective one, select every model, give all the details like this. Once after that, you'll be getting the option. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And if you're on Windows 7, if you're on Windows 7, download this one. After this, install this one, then restart your PC and try to play the game. For many users, when they updated the graphics card, it worked for them. So that is what you have to try. Next one is all about, we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. You can click on this link. Now you need to download this one. Any three, one of anything can be downloaded. So based on your PC system type. So if you don't know how to check it, just go over here in the search, go to settings once again. Go over here in the system at the top, keep scrolling down, go to about, from here will be understood 64-bit operating system. That means x64 base processor is yours. You can find like this and based on this, you can just go over here, download this one, download and install this one. And after that, restart your PC as well. Then once after that, try to launch the game. This worked for many users as well. Next one, uh, for some users, when they updated the graphics card to latest versions like 531.41, they might be having an issue with crashing mode or the issue might be not be solving. So if that is the case, for some users, it ended up in a lot of issue. The issue become more severe. If that is the case, we need to roll back the driver. For that, just click on the start, right click over here, go to device manager, go to display adapters, go to right click over here, properties, go to driver, go for roll back driver. Once after that, you roll back the driver, just close this and try to play the game. After that, instead of that, you need to, uh, instead of downloading the 531, the latest version, 
try downloading the older versions. On the same, you'll be able to find 528.4, which is released on 8th of February. Try downloading this one. This did work out for like a miracle for many of the users, and you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. For that, we just need to go over here, right click and go for manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling, keep in mind one thing that you should be installing the game not on the same local disk which you already uninstalled. So here I am uninstall the game on C. So uninstalling and installing back on C is not going to work. So you have to change the location of local disk that is going to work for you as well. So these are the possible workarounds which can be tried out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.